my friends so have you heard about the perfect webinar in the expert secrets russell brunson talks about the perfect webinar he's got like almost a quarter of the book dedicated to that and that's one of the things in the perfect webinar he talks about is having stories you need stories to be doing your perfect webinar now me i've been doing perf i'm not perfect but i've been doing webinars for a while i've done four or five different ones i've done them for about four or five six weeks and the latest one i've been i'm on week number eight i believe now and i'm trying to make it into a perfect webinar what does that mean what are the stories how can you come up with your four stories he's talking about having four stories how do you come up with those stories right what does it mean to have the perfect webinar stories what are the four stories how do you come up with them and how am i working towards getting that and how can you do it too we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So the perfect webinar, the four stories, how does how do you come up with those four stories and what are they and why do you need them? We're going to get into that. First, go if you're listening to the audio, you want to go to cis282.jsgagnon.com. You want to go there because I'm going to be sharing my screen. I'm going to show you some of the back the back office, some of the stuff I've done and also um there's a blog post there if you want to read if you like reading which will probably have different you know content than this audio this video right all right so what is the perfect webinar? first let's just kind of explain what the perfect webinar is russell brunson in his book let's just go back to the book here the expert secrets book he talks about the perfect webinar let's just start with where it starts section three and the perfect webinar right he talks about the perfect webinar <laughs> the perfect webinar framework uh he gives you a uh, kind of cool little diagrams right there right the big domino and he talks about these three like over here well if you can see right here he talks about these three these three circles here in this book he talks about this as being three stories that you need and he talks about the um and you know your uh origin story and all that but the thing is that one of the things that for me is when i listen to when i so i first got this book in december 2018 and i've been listening to it you know 20 times since then and i've listened to it and i've learned a lot there's a lot of other stuff it's not just about the perfect governor it's about building track and going or uh, doing this and getting to connect with you and do you know it's all about the whole building movement. and the perfect governor is just one of the things that you do once you have an offer that you can sell now you know you can have a you can have whatever for a thirty dollar product hundred dollar product five hundred dollar product five thousand dollar product it really is up to you um but you know the sweet spot is around the thousand dollar mark right so if you have something that's less than a thousand you might be able to use the perfect webinar framework uh but you're going to want to maybe cut it a little shorter because i guess some people say that the amount of uh, money that somebody <coughs> would be sending will affect how long they're willing to stay or if they're if they're feeling like this is not worth it or two hours of their time they might feel uh that it wasn't you know wasn't good but anyways that, that's just a per, se per session thing it's really really up to you and, and and that's why you're that's why russell talks about doing the perfect the webinar 52 times or for a whole year every week for a whole year so you perfect all sorts of things as you go like me i've been doing this webinar. let me show you here let me share my screen and show you kind of how my you know presentation has been hopefully my computer is uh, gonna let us see this it's it looks like it's kind of the computer is kind of like slow right now uh let me see if i can i can i get that let's share the screen We're here so i mean my my webinar so far the last you know eight weeks that i've done has been this which
I'm not anyways I'm kind of changing I'm I'm updating things this is what I've been doing I mean uh you know what I'm talking about my goal I'm talking about telling them the state of the end I need your attention how I put and then I talk about what I do which is really not what you're supposed to do necessarily and then I talk about the three secrets now in the and that's because I kind of went by what I remembered from the book and I put together my 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 webinar based on that and now, now I'm realizing as I do it like I've done it two three times now with this this layout and I'm at each last two times I've done it I'm like this is just not right and you know I'm not really getting the sales that I'm, I'm wanting and so I'm kind of redoing it right now I'm actually using um a google slides to redo the whole thing and uh, let's see if you'll this will load up so I'm starting off I'm kind of updating but okay so here's <laughs> here's the thing so your four stories right so your four stories there's your origin story which is how you came to this to the belief that whatever you're offering is the best thing and they need it and whatever it's it's also what Russell talks about the big domino which is the belief they have and your story is supposed to make them believe what you now believe so you're kind of walking them through the process and because one of the biggest things in the perfect webinar is to not be trying to sell them you're not trying to sell them and convince them why they need this you're just you're just basically explaining to them how you came to that conclusion and and the secret is to walk them through the emotions that you had hopefully so that they feel those emotions too and they they feel compelled to your story and they feel connected to your story right so that's the first story is your origin story the next three stories and this is the thing that I never really got when I first when I was going through this even though even though I list I I listened to it again and I I heard some different stuff now because I went through the perfect webinar training which is which is you know an expansion all on all this and I'll show you that in a second but that kind of gave me the realization that that's what he's talking about these four stories right so the four story, <laughs> the four stories okay so the the second story is the vehicle story so it's all about how you came to realize that the vehicle that you're offering is the vehicle that they need that well no no not that they need that you are convinced is the best vehicle there is so there's there so i'm not i'm not so it's kind of like um how do you how you came to feel that that was the vehicle that was great for you right how did you it's, it's all about the vehicle right the, the 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 tool the like if you're trying to sell uh, weight loss pills it's all about the 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 supplements that you're taking that right it's all about the powder it's all about the 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 so the vehicle right how are you how are they going to get the results what is it that they use to get the results right so that's the vehicle so that's story number two right story number two story number three is your internal belief so it's all about how you came to the this to the conclusion that whatever you believed inside right I can't do this um I'm not smart enough I'm not I'm, I, I can't you know you might be able to do it but I'm not good enough I'm not I don't I'm not I'm not pretty enough I don't I can't do the videos I can't whatever it is that you're talking you're trying to sell them right that they can't do it or you couldn't do it right you couldn't do it and the thing is that yeah so the other thing is when Russell talks about the the secrets right is that he talks about uh, uh and then well anyways this is not really let's go back let's actually show you uh the uh, perfect webinar framework so when he talks about the stories right he talks about the four stories the the and and this is this is where I got confused right in the in the book right he talks about the three secrets right he talks about three secrets he talks about <laughs> the big domino and the one thing right the the big domino the one thing and then the three secrets he talks about the three secrets he does say in the book which I never really caught that well that there's four stories right but he doesn't really put emphasis on it in this in this training this perfect webinar training here that you you can get at perfectwebinar.com or of course I have my link which is uh, pw.jeansergegagnon.com <clears throat> I mean it's a seven dollar thing you know I get two dollars or whatever if you get it from my link that's that 
but that's but anyways and then you can also promote it but anyways the point is that in here he does make it really really clear that it's four stories that's the focus you gotta you gotta figure out your four stories <clears throat> when when we look at the perfect webinar uh book uh no sorry the expert secrets book right when we look in this or listen to the audio which is what I did I didn't really I didn't actually read this book I listened to the audio he talks about um he talks about the the three secrets and the beliefs that they're connected to so the three secrets is the vehicle the internal beliefs and the external beliefs right the vehicle belief so what is it that your target market your audience what's stopping them from believing these things right so if you're not sure what's stopping them that's why he talks about you thinking about you what is it that you what stopped you before you discovered this right what was it that stopped you from using a ve the vehicle you're using now what is it that stopped you from <clears throat> from internal belief from believing that you could do it uh, from your own you know your own um <clears throat> uh skills abilities beliefs in yourself and whatever right what is it and then the third the third st secret or story is about the external beliefs so what is it that outside of your control you know um <clears throat> i have a job i can't i can't uh, my my boss won't let me spend time on this i i don't have enough time i can't my fa my wife won't let me or you know my kids are uh, take all my time and and i'm so tired i can't I, I gotta go to bed i don't have time to work on this what are the external beliefs right so again so those are the three beliefs the three limiting beliefs right those are the so it's so that's the thing it's all connected and even me as i'm trying to redo my webinar for tonight <clears throat> thinking about you know how am i going to organize these three stories right how am i going to organize these three stories and around these three beliefs around these and make these three secrets out of it how does that all work right and it's and me trying to explain it to you right now helps me to to clarify it for myself so that's kind of why i'm doing this but you know if we look at uh, russell's let's see if i can find inside the training here if i can find the part where he talks about the three stories well so the other thing too is that he explains in this training about the framework to teach frameworks <clears throat> so he talks about and this is the thing it's all about stories telling stories about things that happen to you to guide you to that conclusion that you're at right now how did you how did you come up with the feeling and the decision that this was the way to do it what is it that happened in your life that's related to it now it doesn't have to be an exact one-on-one -on -one mapping it could be a related story right a related story like russell talks about his uh, potato gun dvd right when he talks about how he discovered funnels right he talks about that and so it's related but it's also not about building funnels it's about before he even knew about funnels right he even realized that funnels existed right so he talks about that story right so you have to do the same thing you got to figure out what is it that you're you know how you got to where you are what changed in your mind right and so you know when we talk about this so when we look at the training that he's got right i i wish i could um I wish it was organized I mean it, it's well done but you kind of got to go through the thing right this is a one hour training right here it talks about these things let's see if I can't uh am I in the perfect coordinate training right now yeah okay yeah and then here he talks about yeah he talks about lots of things oh there you go the framework to teach frameworks right here so he talks about the framework to teach frameworks because in the perfect webinar that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to teach or you're supposed to you so you're supposed to talk about four different frameworks your origin story which includes the framework of how you came to this conclusion of using this your whole the whole thing and then you've got their vehicle story and your uh internal belief and their external belief stories right those three stories they're just all stories that are connected they don't don't get so 
you know conf um, conflicted about oh my god how do I come up with these stories and me that's what I'm doing right now I'm kind of like okay what what are the things that uh, that happened over the last couple of years that made me come to this conclusion here what are the things that happened and how many what are the what in those things that happened how how can I create four stories around those things right and which ones are more connected to to you know my internal belief which ones are more connected to the vehicle which ones are more connected to to the external belief and then what is more a uh, general or global or you know complete right so that becomes the four stories and that's it that's 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 it's really that simple just figure out what those four things are four th four stories you can tell that have to do with where you are now and where you were before right so those are just the four stories they don't have to be perfectly connected to what you're talking about necessarily in that particular section so so you come up with those four stories and then you then it becomes the three secrets so the three secrets are just the wording around the stories and around the result that you want them to get right so I don't know let's say for me in my you know syndication thing that I'm promoting right the the engine and the uh, and the process and the and the, th the thought around being being omnipresent and all this stuff for me it's all about realizing that omnipresence is the way to 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 grow online right and it's and it's changed over the last couple of years where now it's becoming more and more common for people to talk about omnipresent there's a bunch of tools out there that let you do it that improve certain things and you know I've got a tool and that's kind of what I'm promoting right but I gotta kind of get people to 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 make the decision themselves that they want omnipresence and that they have time to do it and that they can use a tool to do it and that you know what other people think doesn't matter because and those are the the stories that I gotta you know talk about right so what are the secrets right like the secrets are it's a it's the same thing as the one thing right your one thing is so your one thing if I go back to here uh no that's not this one if I go back to here so your one thing is this how to how to x right whoops how to be <laughs> how to be right how to be right this is the actual part of it and then the without without right and this is uh, let's underscore underline this there so this is your this is your uh your domino right your one thing your big thing so for me this is what this is right it's how to x without y right so <clears throat> so now you know this is what I'm going to be talking about right how to be omnipresent and post everywhere without hiring a team of 30 right so that's your one thing and your secrets are the same they're well similar so you'll want to have a how well not necessarily but that's a start right you can say how to how to post well I, I don't even know I'm gonna have to think about this right what are my four what are my three secrets they're based on the three stories they're based on the three beliefs the limiting beliefs so you kind of have to figure all that out so what are the three limiting beliefs let me just uh let me just do something here I've got a notepad open here um, that's kind of interesting okay let's just go into do -do -do -do. Oh, I don't need this okay so let's just uh open the, let's just go in here so what are okay so let's just say <coughs> so the the four stories right so the four stories oh you can't even see let me just move that over to here make that a little bit so the four stories let's make it a little bit bigger okay so the four stories right so number one is your origin story right so your origin story number two is your vehicle story number three is your internal internal whoops in internal belief story and then a number number four is your external belief story now is it belief with an i i e or e e i i never remember anyways doesn't matter okay so that's your four stories right like i said so this becomes so this is secret number one 
this is secret number two and this one is secret number three good so origin story this is your uh big domino big domino your one thing right um your epiphany so epiphany story now now every story is supposed to have an epiphany to to it right but I guess I'm kind of saying this is the big the big story right I guess I could say the big story so for me it's um okay so for me my epiphany story is about realizing that omnipresence is you know for me uh so realizing realizing whoops realizing that omnipresence is the the only way to grow your audience online today right so for me that's that's what the story is about right how did I come to this realization what what did I see what did I do what what maybe what errors I made those kinds of things right the vehicle story is what's the vehicle right so what so what is the vehicle I want them to use right what's the vehicle I want them to use for me it's my platform right so it's my 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 syndication engine and so I want to talk about that how I how that how that came about maybe or how I built it or how I came to the conclusion of this so you know um and the other thing too is that here's a here's a good example I think this is kind of coming to me as I'm kind of explaining it right so for me it's um you know, let's make this a little bit there you give us some more room okay so for me it's it's basically how I started to realize or it's about meeting Mark Lalonde and what he talked about so I can so I can talk uh, my my story I can talk about uh octo content octo content model how I met Mark Lalonde and how I <coughs> started to do omnipresence manually right so I can talk about how I did that and that's because that's how the vehicle came to me right and you know so that's that's so yeah so I mean that's this vehicle story for me right so the internal belief right the internal belief could be for example uh for me so okay so internal belief what are the internal internal uh limiting beliefs that stopped me before right before or my audience my audience right so I mean if you're like into with say weight loss or something well then you might talk about the stuff that people typically don't believe internally right they're like well you know I, I'm not going to be able to do this I mean there's there's it's it's it, I can't I can't not have any uh sweets right I I have to have my sweets every at least every day a little bit because otherwise yeah you know, I'm gonna get grumpy and I'm not gonna be able to do things and I'm gonna get impatient whatever so that's my internal belief that I believe and it, it it might be true right because your body is affected by it and all that but it's still an internal belief it's something that has to do with you your body your mind what is it that you believe right and so that can stop you from taking action because you're thinking well I I can't do it I need this right I'm not going to be able to succeed at this because I need that so you got to talk about how you overcame that a story about how you overcame it for me this internal belief of this right is uh, uh is is all about the the how it takes time right for me it's like it takes for me it takes a lot of time to create assets to post everywhere right <coughs> right so it takes a lot of time so I can talk about how it would take how long it would take me to create the assets right um and how I came to start to use this 
uh, to see that I could actually do it if I had a step-by-step -step process to do it right so that kind of that's kind of that can kind of be how I do it right but for you whatever your whatever it is that what is your one thing right so your one thing should always be the focus of each of those stories how you came to this one thing how that one thing is what and is what you want for them right for, so, so like for me it's like how to be omnipresent and post everywhere without hiring a team of 30 right so learn how it's possible to syndicate your content to all major social media platforms in minutes a day right so that's kind of what I'm going towards right what I'm kind of trying to get people to understand to believe in to 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 do right so um yeah so that's that's what that is so the other thing is that, so secret number three is external beliefs right so so what are the so what what are the external limiting limiting beliefs 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 that stopped me before right again or your audience or my audience right so you got to ask yourself that question what is it external like so so for weight loss for example again take that same example of sweets or whatever you might be thinking well I can't I can't be consistent with all my eating or whatever because you know my kids are always wanting me to have some candy they always want this or my wife always buys this or does this or my husband does this or whatever right whatever it is that happens outside of your control could that affects you is what you believe you believe you can't do it because these external things are going to affect your resolve are going to affect your ability to make that decision the ability to actually do it right your ability to actually take the, the 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 whatever the vehicle is that you're offering them right if you're offering them for example the beach body uh, on demand videos right where they exercise it where you exercise every single day you're offering them the beach body solution and you're telling them well you got to exercise you got to stop your your you got to stop your sweets you got to do this you got to do that and they believe that they can't stop having sweets because their 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 significant other brings it every 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 time they go grocery shopping well then it becomes hard to actually you know believe that you can you can do it right so you can tell them about your story of how you overcame that how you became able to deal with that either you, you know either by by maybe asking your spouse to do something different or by just you becoming Cons conscious and deciding and telling everybody you know what I don't it doesn't matter to me if you buy that stuff I'm not going to eat it and I'm going to tell you and I want you to remember that I'm that I'm not saying no to you right by not eating whatever you bring me I'm just this is just a decision I took so you make that you explain to them how you came to that decision of being in control yourself and how they and then they can kind of that and the idea with these stories is that they can kind of feel what you're f telling them you felt right i felt i felt so i felt bad telling my wife right that i don't want to have these things in the house that i want don't i want her to avoid buying them and if she buys them maybe she can hide them and whatever i felt bad telling her because i thought that it wasn't okay for me to ask her that right but then when i told her about my my goals and she understood how hard it can be for me to 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 stay away from those things if they're right there she completely supported me that was so awesome I was so happy and you you kind of kind of go through that story and you tell people about it and they might they they'll feel those feelings too they'll be like potentially feeling that with you right and that's the whole goal you want them to feel that with you so for me my external limiting beliefs could be that you know well what if the platform has a problem I mean I remember I actually was posting every single day on my Facebook page and the, my page got but got but got uh, the, what's the word uh, unpublished I was like so I was so upset I mean I just I had 18,000 likes on that page and Facebook shut it down so what are you supposed to do did this stuff this stuff breaks your content now my content's not there anymore I can't even have anybody you know connect with me anymore they can't find me anymore my content's gone I even have my friend that lost his Facebook account completely he had like 4,000 friends on there and he has no way of reaching any of those people anymore because that's the only place he had so omnipresence 
is one of the things you do is you go everywhere so that way you're on all the platforms so even if you lose one of them at least you've got all the other ones because you're constantly on all the platforms all the time people see you all the time so that's your four stories that's what the four stories are and I'm actually gonna I'm actually creating I've actually created a group a Facebook group called become a perfect webinar master and you can find it just just google uh, just go on facebook and search for uh, perfect webinar become become a perfect webinar master so you can find that in uh, in facebook and you can join that group and we're helping each other to create our own webinars uh, figuring out our stories i'm actually going to be posting on there too a little bit about how a, a little bit about what i just went through here and uh yeah so hopefully that'll help you and if you have any questions and if you can help others that's that's would be awesome if you can join that group and help others with their questions that would be fantastic all right so become a perfect webinar master that's on Facebook just go search for that and uh maybe we'll see you there all right have yourself a great day until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.